Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on dividing polynomials by a monomial. So we're going to do three problems together on the first page. So, so follow along with me, please. And then on the second page, there'll be some problems for you to try on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. So the first problem, we have uh, 6n plus 24 divided by 6. So we have a binomial divided by a monomial. And what you do is you take each term of the numerator and you divide it by the denominator. So it's going to be 6n divided by 6 and then plus 24 divided by 6. So 6n divided by 6 well, that'll just give us an n and then 24 divided by 6 is 4 so our answer is going to be n plus 4. Alright let's try this one. This one's a little more complex. So we have 10x squared y minus 15xy squared divided by 5xy. So I'm going to first divide 10x squared y divided by 5xy. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. x squared divided by x is just an x. And then y divided by y is 1. We'll cancel out, right? So our first part is going to be 2x. And now we're going to minus. Well, 15 divided by 5 is 3. x divided by x, well, those x's cancel out. And then y squared divided by y is just a y. So our answer is going to be 2x minus 3y. All right, the third one is a little more complex. We have 50x to the third plus 40x squared minus 30x divided by 5xy. So this one I'm going to write out. Um, so I'm going to write 50 x cubed. I'm going to divide that by the denominator which is 5xy and then plus 40x squared. I'm going to divide that by the 5xy and then finally minus a 30x and I'm going to divide that by 5xy. Alright so the first part 50 divided by 5 is going to be 10 and then x cubed divided by x is going to be an x squared. But if you notice, we still have a y in the, in the denominator. So that's going to stay down here. Plus 40 divided by 5 is 8. x squared divided by x would just be an x. And just like before, we're going to have a y down on, on the denominator. Finally, minus, well, 30 divided by 5 is 6. And then this time, this should be 30x, um, the x is going to cancel out. And again, we're going to have a y down on the bottom. So we could write our answer 10x squared over y plus 8x over y minus 6 over y. Or we could just simply write it as 10x squared plus 8x minus 6 all over y because we now have common denominators and there's our answer all right so what i want what i want you to do is i want you to pause the video and try the your turn problems now and when you're done hit play you can see how you did all right good luck all right welcome back let's see how you did so the first problem you had to do 15x plus 20 divided by 5. So we have a binomial divided by a monomial. So when I do 15x divided by 5, that should have been a 3x. And then 20 divided by 5 is 4. So it's going to be 3x plus 4. All right, the second part. 12x cubed, y to the fourth, plus 8xy to the fifth, divided by 4x squared, y cubed. Well, 12 divided by 4, that'll give us a 3. x cubed divided by x squared, that'll give us an x. And then y to the 4th divided by y to the 3rd, that'll give us just a y. And for now, I'm going to put this all over 1. Plus, 8 divided by 4 gives us 2. x divided by x squared, that will leave a x in the denominator. So we're going to put an x down here. And then y to the fifth divided by y cubed, that'll give us a y squared. And there's our answer. All right, last but not least, we have a trinomial divided by a monomial. So 
I'm going to actually write this one out. So 80 xw divided by 20w. That's going to give us a 4. And then the w's will cancel out, right? So it's going to be 4x. That's the first part. Plus uh, 40 divided by 20. So actually, let's write it out. So 40 yw divided by w. Well, 40 divided by uh, 20 will give us a 2. And then this time, the w's are going to cancel out, right? So we're going to end up with a y. And then finally, we have 60 zw divided by the 20w. And 60 divided by 20 is 3. And then they share a common factor of a w, which ends up with a z left over. So it's going to be a z. So our final answer is 4x plus 2y plus 3z. So the key rule to remember when you're dividing a polynomial by a monomial is you multiply each, sorry, you divide each term in the numerator by the denominator. All right, how'd you do?